I've been having a discussion with someone on one of my canning videos. It's the canning tomato juice video. And I thought the easiest way to do this would be to, to put this out here. Um, the issue is they wanted to know why I said to process the tomato juice and tomato sauce for 35 and 40 minutes for pints and quarts when their canning box says to do it for 15 minutes. Uh, I said that maybe they had an old canning book. And yes, they do. Uh, the canning book they have is from the 70s, I believe they said. Um, and I said, you know, if you don't know it, you're not supposed to use any canning books that were printed before 1990 because the last major uh, canning recommendations were changed in 1988. Uh, uh, and um, some of those recommendations had to do with tomatoes. So that's why uh, what I said in the video was 35 and 40 minutes. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it is today. Um, and I applaud you for uh, checking your book on that because very often people uh, won't crack a book open for nothing. Uh, they just accept what they see in canning videos and uh, uh, repeat the process. And there are some very bad practices out there and people kept have repeated them so much that and they get the same lousy results so they all have accepted as normal um, you crack open a book and you follow your procedures you're going to find that it doesn't turn out that way um, so I do applaud you for uh, checking the book that's what you should do and here's the last statement they made uh, they said well regardless the peak of canning was in the 30s and 40s, and people were probably doing it that way very frequently, and very few got ill. I think in many cases, people get a little fanatical when it comes to canning guidelines. Thanks for your advice, though. Um, you might see me as a canning fanatic, but uh, to tell you the truth, I'm pretty lax on this stuff. I do stay within the guidelines because you only have to step out the gui outside the guidelines once, and it's over. Uh, you know, it only takes one one bad jar. That's all. It's not like, you know, uh, you get 100 chances at this. Uh, you have to stay within a certain range there or else it's over. Um, and as far as the, the recommendations go, in my opinion, I know a lot of people don't have the, have the idea that uh, when it comes to the USDA's recommendations, they don't want to be told what to do, that they see it as uh, the government's attempt to control them. Um, I don't see it that way. I see it as recommendations. They're not laws. They're not mandates. They're not forcing me to can that way. If I choose not to follow their recommendations, they're not going to do anything to me. Um, I'm not going to come out and lock me up uh, if I don't, you know can green beans the way they say to can them, the recommendations, and those recommendations were put there uh, in large part because of the way things were canned in the 30s and 40s. Uh, back then, people were uh, using what was called an open kettle method of canning. Um, that's the way my grandmother canned. That's what was recommended to do back then, and it was found to be the most unsafe practice ever. Uh, and in my grandmother's defense, she wasn't doing that to be lazy or malicious or whatever. That was what was recommended for her time. Uh, she wasn't canning the way that her grandmother canned. She was canning the, the way that was appropriate for her time. It turns out it was a bad way to can. People got sick. People died. Uh, you said very few got ill. That's true. Um, botulism is very rare. But when it happens, it is very tragic, extremely tragic, because it doesn't just affect the, the idiot that canned the food. It affects everybody that's at that kitchen table. Every last person in your family could die because of the decisions you make about your canning. Um, I'll put a link to two news stories from the 30s and 40s for you where people actually died from... Um, home canned food and it's just too exciting for me to discuss it so uh, I hope that you make the decision to um, can safely um, I agree that people do get fanatical on both ends of the spectrum 
There are people that will carry the safety guidelines so far as um, to say that you can't even alter one grain of salt in a candy recipe. There are people on the other end of the spectrum that don't that go out of their way to uh, can everything that's not supposed to be canned and can it in ways that are not recommended. Um, it's like it's their mission in life to defy all the canning guidelines. I don't understand it, don't agree with it, but um, as for me, like I said, I try to keep my canning safe and I try not to beat you over the head with it. Uh, so that's what I've got to say about it. I hope it helps.